Hello everyone, welcome to my shower cocktail series. It's going to be weird for me to say that because I'm so used to saying bath cocktails. Um, obviously, as you can tell from the title of the video and kind of by the setup here, um, my first TV show that I'm basing a shower cocktail on is Gilmore Girls. And if you know me, you know that that's very fitting because this has been my favorite show for a long time. I probably didn't watch it until it was actually on its, like, fifth season. But then once I saw a few episodes, they always played them on ABC Family when I was in college. Then I, like, stocked up on all the seasons. I only have five of the seven seasons right now because I'm pretty sure I loaned one of my friends seasons four and five right now and he hasn't returned them yet. Um, but he's good at returning so I'm not worried about it. So anyways, they also have like a complete series that you can buy all of them together that's a really good deal. But I kind of just bought them as I watched them. That's what I usually do with series that I love. And this is a good series because it's one that like whenever you watch it you know you can watch those episodes over and over. So that's definitely why I invested in this whole series. My shower cocktails in general will be a lot lower maintenance because that's how showers are. A lot of times baths are more drawn out, you're taking more time, you're relaxing. But showers, you kind of get in, get out, and get on with your life. So, um, just so you know, that's why you probably don't see quite as many products as usual. Something I do want to make sure I do as much as possible is have some kind of use of an Emotia Bomb um, or a Moda Bomb, however you want to say it, um, used. However, Lush does not make these anymore. They discontinued them, I think right around Christmas time with the new year so they aren't actually sold in stores anymore um, you can find them on eBay and stuff like that at least they're not selling them in the US anymore um, however something kinda cool you can do is as long as it's like a fizzing bath bomb and not a frothing one like Avo bath or the blackberry those are all fizzing ones you can kinda crack them in half with um, like a flathead screwdriver and a hammer and then it will be like a half bath bomb like it'll just be curved on top and then have a half that can like lay flat on the ground and you can kind of use those as a moda bombs um, to get a certain scent going in the shower I don't really think you need a whole half of one of those big bath bombs though I'd probably only use um, a fourth of it because this, I'm not using this whole Emota Bomb. I'm going to use just a fourth of it. And I find that that scents up my shower enough and gets that whole scent going throughout my bathroom too for one shower. Um, anything more I think is just wasting your money. So, let's get into this. Um, if you've ever watched Gilmore Girls, you know that it's about a mother and a daughter and their relationship a lot of this takes place at um, Stars Hollow, Connecticut, and they spend a lot of their time in Luke's diner. And um, I definitely, when I could, thought about some of those elements um, for the cocktail. There are just so many episodes, and I was watching the series this morning again. I'm watching season three right now through again. And there's just so many things you could do, like each episode you could make a theme, so um, it was kind of overwhelming to think of the whole series since it is my favorite show, but I tried to do some like general things that I thought represented the whole show well. So first of all, for my um, shampoo, I'm going to use the Sonic Death Monkey. And this is a seriously intense chocolate, coffee, lime juice, and hemp oil shower gel. Um, you can lather it all over your body or hair. So I'm going to use this for my hair and have it be a shampoo. And this definitely comes from Lorelai and Rory's, that's the mother and daughter. They're like intense addiction to coffee. They love coffee so much. Um, 
So I'm definitely going to use this to represent that. And like also the chocolate in it. They love like all junk food. They have junk food nights and have movie marathons and stuff like that. So I thought that this would be perfect. So I'm going to use that. It is a retro product, but you can find it on the Lush website. Something else, if you don't have that, that's like a regular product, you could use Cynthia Sylvia Stout. Um, I was just kind of thinking of like a darker shampoo if you wanted um, with kind of like a different smell that definitely has like a beer type smell to it and there's definitely many parts in the show where um, like you know Rory's like drinking at college or whatever um, or I'm trying to think yeah um, whenever Lorelai has her bachelorette party um, before she almost marries Max um, she definitely has a little too much to drink that night, so you could use Cynthia Sylvia Stout for sure and have it make sense. Um, then for my conditioner, I'm going to use American Cream because I just think so many elements of this show are just like totally all American, so I thought that this would be great. Um, it definitely has like a very intense vanilla scent to it. Um, and I definitely pick up the oranges, and it also has strawberries as well. Then for my soap, Lorelai is someone, and that's the mother, who loves snow. She thinks snow is really symbolic. Like every time it snows, she has something really important happen to her, or something really, it means something really important's coming. And she can like smell the snow in the air. She's just really funny about it. So I thought that it would be cool to use snow globe soap because of that. Um, so I definitely think that'll go well with everything. We're having kind of like a food type smell going um, with some like chocolate and citrus. Definitely like kind of like breakfast type cocktail, um, but also one that will wake you up. Speaking of breakfast... I thought this would totally fit in with Luke's Diner, and this is the Back for Breakfast Shower Gel. It says, step into the shower to be gently lured into a state of alertness. Inhale the refreshing line, grapefruit and lemon oils, and then drizzle your body with honey and fresh juices. So I thought that this would be good, um, kind of like as a pick-me-up and wake-me-up smell for your shower. Um, but the name is just really great with um, how they go to Luke's Diner all the time. They do it a lot more in the earlier seasons, and then once Rory goes off to college, it's not quite shown quite as much. Then, um, I haven't talked about the Emotobomb in general yet. Um, I'm just going to use a fourth of this, like I say, and this breaks really easy. Like, you don't even have to use any kind of equipment. Um, I don't want to break it, though, because it's the only full-size one I have, but you'll just, like... Try to break it and it'll break right in half and then you can break those two pieces in half again to make four pieces. That's called Up You Get, so it's really made to wake you up and make you alert and ready to go for the day. So I thought that would be a really good one kind of to go along with everything that's going on in this cocktail. Um, and I think that that's something that Rory and Lorelai definitely would need in the morning. They're so addicted to caffeine and everything that... They definitely always wake up tired, and they're not really ready to go in the morning. So they definitely enjoy something like that in their shower, I know. Um, then, as far as, like, a body butter or shower smoothie, I'm going to um, use Buffy. And this is a body butter. It's pretty exfoliating. I just kind of use it on the backs of my legs and, you know, my back area. Um, this used to be called Buffy the Backside Slayer, and Lorelai and Rory just really love TV, and this whole show is just, like, bursting with, like, references to TV shows and history and pop culture. They make references to things all the time, so I thought it'd be fun to do something that was based off of a show or movie name, so this is Buffy, but it used to be called Buffy the Backside Slayer, but... They had to change it because it was too similar to the actual movie, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So I thought that would be a good one to use. And then the last thing I'm going to use is this solid perfume, the smell of weather turning. 
it definitely is one of those scents that I really probably would only like to use in the fall. It has that airy outdoor smell, but then it also has kind of a bite to it. It's not my typical scent, but it is intriguing enough that I bought it to wear in the fall time. Um, and I thought it would be good to represent Stars Hollow because... I just think it's so pretty. I know it's not actually on location in Connecticut, but they just create the city so well. Like any, like my favorite season on that show usually is all of their fall episodes whenever they're outside with all the leaves turning and they have like fall festivals and things like that. So I thought that this would be a really good one um, as far as perfume goes. So it's called The Smell of Weather Turning and it's a newer one that came out in the past year or so. So that is my shower cocktail. Um, these are going to kind of just be me standing here and explaining them um, and explaining what products to use, what the products are like, and the significance to the shows because I can't really show you what they're like in the shower, obviously. So anyways, this was my first shower cocktail. Um, any requests that you have for future TV shows, definitely write them down below. I'll probably do some ones first that I actually, like as far as requests go, I'll probably do ones first that I've actually seen before and will be able to come up with a cocktail pretty easily with. Um, requests I get for shows like over and over again that I haven't seen before, I'll probably start watching on like Hulu or Netflix or whatever. Um, and definitely this will be fun for the fall season because I love fall TV because all the new TV shows start so it'll be fun to do a few new shower cocktails with new TV shows that start this fall so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed my first shower cocktail and let me know if you try it or if you try any of this stuff from it and let me know what you think alright have a good day I'll talk to you later bye